So one of the things to be aware of when you're using solder wick is that given that it's made from copper, it heats up pretty fast. So make sure to keep your fingers well away from the end, otherwise you could burn your fingers. The other thing that can happen, certain joints that use lead-free solder, they can be pretty hard to remove, especially when you're using wick, because it acts like a big heat sink. So what I did was took some regular solder and melded it in right here. And that's going to help make it easy, a lot easier to use the wick to remove the solder from this joint. So I'm going to go right up to it. Go in, hold it against the joint, and you'll see the wick start to pull the solder up. And there you go. We might need to touch up the other side. And there you go, we've moved this, removed the solder from this joint. And then you can go ahead and cut that piece off and then keep using the rest of the wick. Thank you for watching one of our many tutorials here at ShopJimmy.com. We strive to learn and share new TV repair tips every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and grow with us. Share our videos with your friends and help us spread the savings.